Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to SCSP Community's YouTube channel. The tool that we're going to be discussing today is Nikto. Nikto comes pre-installed in Kali Linux and you can fire it up by typing in Nikto from your terminal. So a brief introduction about Nikto. Well, Nikto is an open source free web vulnerability scanner having a command line interface. Nikto can scan a web app for common vulnerabilities like missing security headers, cross-site scripting issues, clickjacking issues, exploitable HTTP methods like put. It may also enumerate directories for you, capture live session cookies and so on. It also looks for potential CVEs that it may find in a web server and reports back with the CVE ID number. Although it's extremely effective but this tool is not silent at all and makes a lot of noise making the tool easier to be detected. To fire up Nikto, just type in Nikto in your terminal and uh, you'll be handed with a help menu for the tool. For extended help about each of these flags, you may type help with a capital H and you'll get an elaborated help menu. Okay, the web application that I'll be enumerating is a test website, testphp.wellweb.com. Uh, so I won't be held accountable for scanning the website. I advise you that you may also run your tests in a lab or a testing environment and never practice your skills on a live website. Anyways, let's get started with the video. As I mentioned earlier, to start Nikto, just type in Nikto dash H for host and uh, let's give it our target URL. Hit enter and as you see Nikto has started scanning the web server web application and immediately it has provided us with some of the issues that it found on our target like this anti clickjacking x frame options header missing making the target vulnerable to clickjacking the xxss protection header making the target vulnerable to cross site scripting issues nikto takes a lot of time to scan the target so i'm going to cut this video short and uh, you may practice with this, with this tool in your own testing environment and uh, one more thing, although it is an extremely effective tool, but I suggest that you manually cross check and verify the vulnerabilities that you may get from an automated scanner for false positives. Well, that's it for today folks, we'll be back with a new tool next time. Thank you for watching, take care and happy hacking.